be live. Okay. All right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. First off, we want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash. We want to give double honor to our apostles, our elders, the bishops, great millstone. We also say peace and blessings to the Lord's elect. All right, we just a couple brothers from uh, the GMS Cleveland Church um, coming at you with a quick pre camp uh, lesson. You know, through the spirit, uh, we want to say, uh, you know, to what Yahweh Shem and Shai for now to, uh, to congregate. Um, just gonna get into an article about uh, the, the the wine of Babylon. Okay, the, the things that they've been spreading that's really taking over the whole globe. You know, you, you know, you see the the ancient customs that that uh, these different nations uh, used to be a partaker in, but now what is, what is what does everybody do? They they uh, they they've been Americanized, man. They've been Westernized, man. You know, but you got that. Yeah, this is the spirit. This is the word Americanization in Wikipedia. It says Americanization is the influence of American culture and business on the other countries outside the U.S., including their media, cuisine, business practices, popular culture, technology, or political techniques. Mm -hmm. Some observers have described Americanization as synonymous with pro progress and innovation. And if I could say that, because what, what does American, uh, Americanization sound like? Hellenization, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and when, when this is why people come from different uh, parts of parts of the world to come to this melting pot man because mm -hmm. they, they 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 perceived america to be um a certain way you know back in the, uh, the 40s and 50s you know pe people's grandmothers was was uh was, was damn near killing themselves man to get over to babylon the great mm -hmm. now everybody wants to go back over because they, they realized that that wine that they that that, that they tasted they didn't drink the whole thing man they didn't drink the drink that was at the bottom mm -hmm. you know but you got it out because when you like when these other nations they come over here they're allowed to, uh, you know, America pushes liberation. You know, you can do as you do what you want to do. You see what I'm saying? You're allowed to eat. Because in other customs around the, uh, outside of America, they have a pretty disciplined culture. You know, they don't, they don't eat meat as much. They don't partake in too much, you know, uh, uh, fleshly activities. But here in Babylon the Great, they completely do away with these customs. They eat meat four times a fucking day, five times a week, which is horrible for your diet. So they pretty much, this is what uh, uh, Americanization is. It's pretty much being a glutton. Mm -hmm. uh, Was it more than an article? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, now it talks about Hollywood, media and popular culture, Hollywood. I'm going to go to a different article dealing with this. <laughs> but it says, uh, in a different article, it says America's cultural role in the world today. It says America's position as the, as the world's dominant superpower has also led to global cultural influence. Up until World War I, America was viewed as cultural backwater, mm. which means it was, it was stagnant. Okay. Then America began to export some of its homegrown culture abroad through films and music. After World War II, the rise of the consumer economy and an American lifestyle gave American popular culture a global impact. Which that American lifestyle? What is? Uh, I'm, I'm just looked that up too. The American lifestyle is pretty much. Uh, what is that? The pursuit of happiness with the principle of life, liberty, and pursuit mm -hmm. of happiness. Yep, that's yep. the American lifestyle, man. Mm -hmm. And that's what's pushed. It say it was a uh, the exported, uh, homegrown culture through films and music. This is why you see, uh, a lot of land, uh, countries. You know, they just had a, a, a Asian movie that just won a, a, a Oscar. You see what I'm saying? You know, all types of uh, uh, stuff that was created in America is being pushed across the four corners of the planet Earth, man. Mm -hmm. um, it also says media. Okay, America has cultural influence in the media because it has a huge market. The United States has a domestic market of over 300 million people in addition to the potential global market. It says TV broadcasting is a good example of this from American TV networks to cable TV and international news networks. Personal computers and the World Wide Web also both arose in the U.S. and spread worldwide. Mm -hmm. And this is how Esau pollutes the whole world, man. Uh, uh, can you grab Revelation 19 and 2 yep. and then go into that word corrupt? Okay. Because okay. through, through this man's media, he pollutes the whole world, man. Okay, this is why you see, uh, uh, you know, over in other countries, they're starting to get with the, the alphabet agenda. You know, you got nations like India, China. Uh, in Taiwan, they're taking these uh these uh, uh court these 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 what is what is that they taking t these uh these fights to court 
to see if they should legalize being a mo. Okay, well, and who who legalizes that the most? America, man. And these push they pushing this out on a on the world wide web, man. You got it up. Yeah, kind. Of. This is uh, Revelation nineteen and verse two. It says, "For true and righteous are his judgments, for he have judged the great whore, mm -hmm. which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, mm -hmm. and have avenged the blood of his servants at her hand." Mm -hmm. And when you get this word corrupt, mm -hmm. um, it's uh, strong G five three five one. Um, and it's and just getting to the point, uh, the the uh, definition B is said to lead away a Christian church mm -hmm. from that state of knowledge and holiness in which it ought to abide. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what it is. That's what that's that was the, the main goal of Esau Eden was to lead away the Christian church, which are you Israelites, man, you so called mm -hmm. Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. That the main thing was to lead you away. Mm -hmm. Right from the state of knowledge and holiness, man, being uh, separate, you know. Mm -hmm. So when 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 Esau poured this this wine out, which is the doctrines and philosophies, you know that that kind of um, assimilated, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, Israel into into uh, Esau's way of thinking, and not only Israel but the rest of the entire world, man, you know. And it says which you ought to abide, you know, and we 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 have to abide in Yahweh Shai. That's what we were created, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so like it. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what we were created to do. So when we drink, drink these different philosophies and doctrines and mm. now, you know, you 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 want to worship Buddha and you want to mm. worship, uh, you know, Allah, all that, those are those are the things that, that took you away from the Heavenly Father, man. And his, and his only begotten son. Can you get the Strong's definition real quick? Yeah, kind of. Uh, Strong's definition. Mm -hmm. um, it says uh, to shrivel or wither. Mm -hmm to spoil mm -hmm. or generally to ruin mm -hmm. especially figuratively by moral influences mm -hmm. to deprave mm -hmm. now when you go into that word deprave right it says uh hold on one second it says make someone immoral or wicked and that's what esau has done to the whole world man uh, it said the whole world language mm -hmm. in uh isaiah the 24th chapter I meaning yeah, everybody's uh they're drunk man Okay, they, they're like a drunken man staggering in his vomit. People don't know the difference between right and wrong, man. This is why the Heavenly Father is about to send his only begotten son back to, to, to set order in the world, man. Because there's no order here, man. Okay, Babylon has pushed confusion across the whole world, man. Okay, and the Lord is not the author of confusion. He is the author of order, man, and righteousness. And that's that's not come through America, man. You got something y'all what's up? I'm just going to get that scripture that you just quoted. Come on. And if I could say too, and that and in the in the root word of Babylon is Babel, mm -hmm. okay, and in the Hebrew is Babal, meaning confusion. You know, so these the the the, the this is why the whole world is in, is in a state of confusion because the earth is given to the hand mm -hmm. of the wicked man, mm -hmm. and he has the power to to, to uh, influence to to take over nations by the by the uh, in, in the name of democracy. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. that's that's what that's how Esau gets down because they have the the. The, the fatness of the earth, they have that blessing to do those things, man, by the power of the sword. I got a scripture. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab the scripture the brother quoted. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 19. The point is verse 14, and it reads, The Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst of thereof. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. So like the brother said, pretty much because of these... Um, these traditions, these philosophies that Esau even has laid before, you know, our nation, you know, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, similar Indians, West Indians, and Haitians, you know, you are the biblical Israelites, as well as the rest of the world, you know, that's why the world is upside down. You know, that's why the world is out of balance. You know, scriptures also say, on um, this book, I have a cool chapter two and verse, um, we get to the point, verse 15, and it reads, woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that put his thy bottle to him, and making him Drunk, drunken also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness. Verse 16, thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai's right hand shall be turned onto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. So at the end of the day, it's going to be a, a, a recompense for the, you know, or even though the Most High created this devil to be the way he is, you know, and to do these things, because ultimately this is all the will of the Lord. It's a judgment for this. Yeah. You know, I remember the elder Amawan Gabar made a statement, and I never thought about it till he, you know, 
you know, brought it to you know the forefront of my mind. He said, you know, you gotta imagine the power of Yahweh Shem Yashem. We really don't sit back and meditate on that. He said he's so powerful, he created an enemy to destroy. Mm. No, that's deep. Mm -hmm. Y'all guys on? Why? And then that, because why? Because like the, the scripture says that uh, what's that? Proverbs sixteen that all things. Uh, the Lord had created. Yeah, yeah. Even the yeah. looking for the day of evil. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So Esau was. That, and I, that's one of the lessons I wanted. I, was, I, I had in my back pocket, so, you know, that Esau was set up for prophecy, man, for prophecy's sake, you know, because it had to be a a, a, a nation that was so uh, left field, you know, mm. to uh, to allow us to understand what the hell we need we needed to come from, man. Uh, you know, I got a, a quick quick scripture. Uh, this is Second Ezra chapter fifteen, and um, I'm gonna uh, start get to the point. Verse eight, it says, um, "I will hold my tongue no more as." Uh, as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will, neither will I uh, suffer them in those things which they which wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, hold on, does that work? It's like, let me start up. Uh, second Edges 15 and verse 6, it says, For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, mm -hmm. and her and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Mm -hmm. You know, so, th so wickedness has, has, has spread, man. The scripture says in uh, Psalms, the thirty-seventh chapter, that um, that I have seen the wicked spread as a green bay tree, mm -hmm. you know. So they, they they continue to grow and grow, just like how the serpent uh, was was a, a serpent in the garden. But all but at the end at the end days, at the last times, that serpent grew all the way into a dragon, man. It, it then got smarter and it, 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 it ate well and it lived luxuriously. And now that 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 ser uh, that dragon juice, I'm gonna say, mm -hmm. has been has been uh, uh, spewed all over the world, just like the brother. Uh, Yahweh Sab had pulled out uh, have, have a coup the second chapter. You know, they forced these people to uh to to be a partaker of their of their ways and their ideologies, man. Mm -hmm. You know? I got one of mm -hmm. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 18, started verse one, point is verse three. It reads, And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. Verse two, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils. And the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and, and hateful bird. Verse 3, the point, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Mm -hmm. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. You know, you made a statement about um, like how China pretty much, um, you know, basically is a movie that was made in, you know, Moab made a movie where, mm -hmm. you know, pretty much is getting praised here. Mm -hmm. Because right. basically they trying to you know, they and they might really think they could be um, next yeah, to yeah, rule. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you can see literally the transition that they made. Like, China was never as wealthy as it is today. Mm -hmm. You know, like, at one point, I believe China was sovereign to Japan. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In the years, years ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But point being, you know, now China, like I said, is pretty much, you know, they, 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 that country is pretty much the one that's um, producing everything. You know, they're mm -hmm. making everything for, for cheap. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, they, they're drunken off the philosophies of America. You know what I mean, <laughs> like like, it, like the elder always brings out about how you know they traditional garb, and now they're wearing business suits and mm -hmm. neckties, mm -hmm. and you got um, Edomite men marrying uh, mm -hmm. Moabite women, and vice versa. You know what I mean? So yeah, and then they 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 really gonna be, they really believe that they're, they're gonna take Esau's culture and continue to push it on, man. That, that's that's a that's a complete idiot idiocrit idiotic mindset man to believe that you're going to take another man's culture and keep it moving like it's a like it's part of like a generate it's a generational wealth so to speak because you you they have gotten rich off of this man's ideologies man mm -hmm. and this is the only way they know to keep their 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 position in the world right now is to keep doing wickedness man yeah but it's a the scriptures say it's a false balance a false balance is an abomination mm -hmm. so the lord has to bring in order man he's going to remove you heathens out of your position, man. Uh, I got, I got one. Real quick. It's the book of Isaiah twenty nine and sixteen. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. And who, who, who's, who's turning things upside down? Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. Okay, he's the one telling you you can be a woman. A man can be a woman. Your children, uh, they have their own authority. You see, you can't tell your children anything. Uh, a man can get pregnant and, and get breast implants. This is him turning things upside down, man. It says, for shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. 
or should the thing framed say of him that framed it, he have no understanding? And that's Esau. He has a God complex. Okay, he, he wants to set the world in his own order. Okay, he takes the scriptures and uses them for his own benefit, man. Okay, he, he takes the scriptures and say, oh, I'm a Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Oh, okay, man, can't put on a dress. You see, mm -hmm. this is the devil, man. Okay, and all these nations are partaking with this madness, man. You got it. I got a quick one um, because you said that all the, all the nations are, are being partaking of the madness because, you know, these, these nations think they're going to uh, continue to, to reap the benefits off of Babylon the Great, like the brother had uh, brought out in uh, Revelation 18th chapter. You know, everything that we that we uh, see that that's that's made, it, it says made in China, you mm -hmm. know, what I'm saying made in Taiwan, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying all because all, because that's how these nations uh, eat off of Babylon the Great, because America is, is the biggest consuming nation. We don't produce anything. We outsource everything, mm -hmm. you know, because of uh, uh, production costs, you know. So when 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 all when America fails, the nations will be like, well, what 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 do I need this hole for? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So just real quick, this is uh, Jeremiah 51, and uh, verse uh, seven. It says, "Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, that made mm -hmm. all the earth drunken, and the nations have drunken of her wine." Therefore, the nations are mad because, you know, in order because in order for the, these nations to make the money off of America, the whore. Right. You they had to lay in bed with America, man. They had to, uh, uh, you know, be accepting of certain philosophies, certain ideologies of Babylon the Great. You know, so now those things are faltering. Now. This, this is why you see the tide turning and um, everybody's uh, uh, really going against NATO and the EU, you know, because it, this is all biblical prophecy, man. The nations are mad now, man. Even when we read uh, Revelation the 19th chapter, it talks about, I believe it's 19, or it's a 17, one of the two. Um, it talks about uh, that the nations are going to, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to burn her with fire, mm -hmm. right? Because they, they're, because she's not worthy to be, uh, 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 you know, glorified anymore, man. You know, mm -hmm. all these nations were, were uh, 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 living deliciously off of America, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, so like the brother said, basically that cup, um, because at the end of the day, he, you know, Esau Edom, he used the cup, you know, because like you brother likened um, wine onto philosophies, you know, well, the Lord got a cup as well mm -hmm. for Esau Edom because, like I said, it's a recompense for what he did. You know, he has a cup filled with destruction. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 75, starting verse 6. And it reads, for promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south, verse 7, but the most high is the judge. He put him down one and set up another. Verse 8, for in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh, there is a cup, and the wine is red, and it's full of mixture, and he pours it out of the same, but the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. So, you know, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Simo Indians, West Indians, and Asians, we um, basically had to drink of the cup of the Lord of his wrath when we went through, you know, that, you know, transatlantic slave trade and you know, just the different curses that the Lord put upon us for not uh, following his law, statutes, and commandments. And, you know, again, Esau Edom has a, a recompense or a judgment for, you know, the things that he did. He'll drink of the wrath of the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, of his cup as well. Mm -hmm. So if brothers got anything, they want to add. <laughs> yeah, because he, he about to drink that cup. This devil getting exposed. We were just talking about how uh -huh. the Lord, yeah, <laughs> he, he exposed Esau with the underground tunnels, mm -hmm. man. Uh -huh. You see? And that was of the Lord, because you, yeah, yeah. you gotta think about it. They hi, they hired the people, mm -hmm. like they was trying to reconstruct. They hired the people, and literally <laughs> they could stumble across some shit they wasn't expecting to find. Yeah, you gotta think how long them tunnels been there, man. Right, before right, right. Been exposed, right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and then there's, and then you have all these nations. They're doing it. They participating mm -hmm. that as well, man. So Esau, you're being found out, man. All right, and it's beautiful to see the downfall of our enemies, man. What you got up? I got just a quick one. This is uh, Psalm 73. I'm going to get to the point. Uh, in verse 9, it says, uh, they set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. You see? So this is the mindset of Esau Edom. They set their mouth against the, against the heavens. By what? By blas blaspheming the Heavenly Father, blaspheming his uh, his servants, you know what I'm saying? Blaspheming the, the, the scriptures, you know? And they, and what and what else they happen? And, and their tongue walketh through the earth. So, what is, so the, the thing that they speak the the, uh, the, philosoph the the philosophies that they push they walk throughout the whole earth man you know why why does why do you think the scripture says that Satan 
uh, walking to and fro mm -hmm. on the earth, man, because that that's because of the physical counterpart of Satan is Esau, man. So he has the power to 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 uh, to do the, to to you know put a uh, uh, you know a certain doctrine here in, in India, right? Or mm -hmm. uh, put a a certain philosophy here in, in in Japan or something like that, man. He's the only one that that's able to do that. That's the spirit that you use the scripture, because like you said, the scripture go into he walk up to and through to and fro throughout the earth seeking mm -hmm. he, seeking whom he made the bow. Yep. So like you said, the scripture talking about basically this devil, like you said, the devil pushing that democracy wherever the fuck he can't push it. And whoever take hold of it, you know, and that democracy ultimately devours that nation. <laughs> you know what mm -hmm. I mean? You got it. And that's that's a beautiful point. I, I, if I get this, this quick precept in Jeremiah, <clears throat> uh, the 50th chapter, and uh, verse 23, it says, How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? You see, uh, Babylon the Great. America it was the hammer of the whole earth, man. You know, so this is this is what the brother uh, Yahweh was going into. You know, this they they this it's either, it's either uh, get down or lay down, man. With with uh, with Esau Edom, man. Because when you have a when you have an, a, a, an advantage over somebody, what do you do? You use it, man. If you in MMA, if you know you have an advantage over uh, some uh, a, a, a grappling advantage, you're not gonna be standing standing up the whole right, fight, man. Right. You know, you gonna you gonna try your damnedest to to get that man on the ground. You know, same thing with Esau Edom. He knows his, his advantage is, is the is the sword, right? So what does he do? He he uh, uses that advantage over the entire nations, man. But now the, the Lord is turning the tide because now everybody has the same capability that Esau has. Uh -huh. You know, so the, so now everybody has that 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 war mindset that Esau Edom has, man. That's how he he spreads his uh, his philosophies and beliefs upon the whole earth, because now he 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 has to. Uh, uh, died by the things that he was blessed with, man, which is a sword, you know. Uh, that you, you in that scripture you brought up, like, like that Jeremiah 50 say, How's the hammer broken? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, the Lord's breaking this place now. It's like, so, um, I was watching the guy, Canadian prepper, and he was going into the Houthis, and he was like, That they, they aren't Hamas, you know what I mean? Like, they were a little bit well, more well funded, and they had a mentality of, you know, you know, they on that like suicide bomber type shit, so like, they willing to fight. You know, tooth and nail to keep these people out of the. You know what I mean? Like they about to really be ready to get it in. Mm -hmm. America, pretty much. You know, they got technology, but look at the state of America. Ain't nobody trying to join no war. Mm -hmm. You can see that the numbers down. That's why they about to have to drive. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? Like again, that's another sign of this place the hammer being broken. Mm -hmm. You good? And what's the characteristics of a, of a hammer? Something that could repeatedly uh, uh, beat something down, man. Right. You know, the, the, what's, what the scripture says? What that that. Who smote the nations with a continual stroke? Yeah. You know, that's that that's that hammer continuously pounded, man, continuously beaten down. You got something up? Yeah, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 31. And I'm gonna go straight to the point, verse 30. It says, Drunkenness increaseth the rage of a fool till he offend, mm. it diminishes strength and maketh wounds. Because what once again that links up with uh Isaiah in the 19th chapter, it said it diminishes strength and maketh wounds. And Esau Edom's his wisdom, knowledge, his wickedness, okay, which he calls wisdom, it is wearing off, man. His witchcraft, his strongholds, everything is is pretty much going down the drain, man. People are breaking loose, starting start first and foremost with the men of the Lord, the elect, man. They have uh the scriptures say there's no enchantment against Jacob. Yeah. You see, the because we were once under that heavy enchantment, man. We were with uh, uh, uh you know. Uh, you know, we, we like to see girl on girl shit. We used to like that shit, man. But we found out that that shit was off, man. But e why? Because uh, what e whatever Esau pushes, you go to you go the other way, man. Period, man. This devil tells you go left, you go right, man. He tells you go forward, you go backwards, man. Okay, this devil, uh, it say you are forges of lies, physicians of no value, man. You want to stay away from this devil's ways, man. It say he is as death. This is why you see, uh, oh, oh, that jump shot. We was talking about that. A lot of people around the world are about to uh, uh, deactivate it, man. All right? And we'll drop dead soon, man. That's going to be, it said, the world is made from a uh, few. What is it? It's uh, second like eight and one. I'm going to just yeah, grab it real quick. It. I got okay. you. I okay. Uh, this is second edge of chapter eight and verse one. It says, and he answered me saying, the most high have made this world for many, but the world to come for few. Right. Who's going to be the cause of this, man? It's going to be Esau. 
Okay, this is why Esau is going to be the one to help usher in, okay, uh, the, the, the dominion of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, because it says uh, uh, the evil seed that was sown to Adam, you know, wickedness has to continue to increase in order for good to come. Mm -hmm. So this devil is about to reach his pinnacle, especially when that, that, that MOTB is mandated, man. He's going to hit his pinnacle, then he's going to be put in chains and, slay, and, and shackles, man. Okay, and he's going to be back in that servitude position. Cause right now he's a he's a he's a servant ruling over the earth and they don't know how to rule man okay we don't we uh, we just learning how to <laughs> serve man okay we've been humble man but you put a proud you the Lord put a proud motherfucker in a high position man so what do you think what do you what do you think is gonna happen man he's gonna think he did it by himself man and the scriptures tell you that the uh Syria the rod of my anger how he believes he you know these two lands you see what I'm saying yeah yep. and he did it roughly paraphrasing that don't want to butcher scripture but esau uh uh you know your time is running out man mm -hmm. you got it up and then two and, and why is esau's time running out because after a while you know that 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 wine that you've been drinking that you were drunk off of starts to wear off man mm -hmm. and now you start to see things for what it is mm -hmm. you know and, and and that's what the lord's elect are going to do they 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 it, you know all of the elect had drunk the wine and baptized mm -hmm. right man you know what that wine starts to wear off and you'd be like well damn what Get, get the hangover. Yeah, yeah. You, you wake up like, man, where, where, the, where the hell am I at, man? You know what I'm saying? You want, you want to park, man? You know what I'm saying? You was fucked up off of that wine, man. Yeah. You know? But now you you start to wake up. You start to realize what's going on, man. And the same things that's going on with these nations. You know? you Like, uh, you, they, they they put that, they forced the, the, the wine to your mouth to drink, mm -hmm. you know? And they thought that you was going to be drunk forever, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They thought that, that, that uh, you would forget the, uh, how, how you were set up to drink that wine. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, what's that? 12 years in the slave. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Where you, you find, you wake up and you're like, well, what the, I was just partying with these guys. What the hell? You know, now mm. you, now you start to understand, man. Ooh, I'm just, I went into the commentary for Habakkuk 2 and 15 about the drunken, the drunk. Listen to this. It says, the damage of drunkenness goes beyond the act itself and into what it affects in lives of families. In the 1990s, it was recorded that yearly in the United States, alcohol was responsible for almost 100,000 deaths, mm. 25,000 by drunk drivers alone, 6 million non-fatal injuries, and more than 100 billion in economic losses, such as unemployment and loss of productivity. So, you know, on a carnal level, it, the scriptures are telling you that America is the one that's pushing uh, this drunkenness across the world, man. It said um, it literally says the United States was the cause of over hundred thousand deaths due to alcohol, but on a spiritual level, America is going to be the cause of sixty six point six percent of the nation of Israel being destroyed through the drunkenness, man. Okay, as well as the rest of the world too, man. Mm -hmm. You got it. Man. Yeah, and 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 because and why? Because that's that's the, because they 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 instead of waking up from that bad dream, you know, what I'm saying from from being drunk as hell now you're sober mm -hmm. but what what does a wine do they they compete they want they want more man you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah because yeah. When, you, when you are when you're drunk that's why we talk about being a drunkard man you know you want you want you want more babylon juice mm -hmm. you know because it feels good you're able to to please the flesh the, mm -hmm. the world loves to please the uh please his flesh man no matter if you're a uh, uh ammonite a moabite mm -hmm. a, a hamite you know you mm -hmm. love to please the flesh man yeah you like to escape from reality yep yep See? yep uh -huh. that, that's that's what these nations are doing they're trying to escape from reality they're trying to escape from the truth which is that you negroes latinos and seminole native american indians are the biblical israelites and you will rule starting with the elect mm -hmm. and, and and in order for us to rule these these the na these nations got to be taken out the way mm -hmm. spearheaded by esau Eden because they're all in agreement, man they mm -hmm. all want to uh, 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 go to a digital society, I man. Even though the, the the media tells you, well, you know, this country is fighting against this country, they all got uh, are on one mind, man. Mm -hmm. They know that 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 uh, you know they, that society can't continue to maintain itself with the, the population number, so they're going to try to wipe away a certain uh, portion of the population, man. Mm -hmm. All these elites of these different nations are coming together for this in these new UN meetings and things like that, man. You know, what mm -hmm. what I'm saying that these elites are privy to, but you're not invited, man. You know, because you're the ones that they want, they want to cut out. Why you think, you know, that you, you, you ain't going to have them them uh, elites uh, getting uh, jacked up off of, I don't want to even say the word, to get this, the video flag. But only uh, the, 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 the jab is only being pushed to you uh, poor uh, neighborhoods, man. You know what I'm saying? That, that's part of the, the wine and philosophies also, you know. 
but any birds got anything else? No, you got it. Got it, got it. What close out at? Well, Lord willing, it's edifying. You know, Lord willing, we can get back together real soon, possibly after camp. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to do a part two, honestly. Got it, got it, got it. Because it's in spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhakwagash. Double honors to our teachers, the elders, and apostles, the great millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom, Yahweh, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Yahweh, Shalom.